Let's do this. Welcome back. Got a little strength and conditioning coming at you today. Uh, before we get into it, let's go ahead and start with our warm up. So uh, we're going to start on the hands and knees today. We're going to run through some spine warm ups, open up the hips a little bit, open up the shoulders, and all that fun stuff. So hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and we're going to press the tailbone down. Tuck it under as you press the middle of the back up. Think forehead to the knee, exhaling. And then arch the back, think back of the head to the tailbone, inhale. And then go ahead and repeat that. <sighs> exhaling, pressing the back up, inhaling, think back of the head to the tailbone. Let's do that one more time. Right here, good. And right here, excellent. Let's return back to the hands and knees. Uh, hands right on the hips, knees right on the shoulders. And then we're going to extend the right leg back, left arm forward. Really reach and extend through the glutes, through the shoulders. Full extension on both sides and tap the knee to the elbow under your torso. Good. Just a few here and then let's go ahead and switch sides right to it. Extend and contract. Really reach. Feel your glute activating. Feel those muscles behind the back, the upper back, shoulders activating. Cores firing up. Three, two, one, and time. Good. And now let's go ahead and take your right arm. You're going to reach underneath and dig your right shoulder to the floor. And then take this right arm out from underneath of you and reach it back behind you as far as you can, looking up as you do. And then repeat that. Reach under and then reach back. And we'll be here for about five reps or so. There about. Good, keep reaching under, reaching back. Let's do that one more time. Reach under, shoulder to the floor. And reach it back, let your eye line follow your hand. Let's switch arms. Same thing, other side, reach it under, shoulder to the floor. A little twist through the spine, and then twist it the other way. And repeat, reach under, and reach back. And like I said, we'll go about five here. It's three, reach it back, give me two more. And reach it back, and give me one more time right here. And reach it back. Good, and let's return back to the hands and knees. Let's tuck the toes here and press the tailbone up and push your chest down towards your feet, hiking those hips up nice and high. Good, try to get your ears right in between the biceps. Good, and let's walk the hands back to the feet. And we're gonna stay in this pancake position, this bent over position, nice and wide with your feet. And then walk both hands over towards your left foot. Think chest to the knee here. Push the knees back so the legs are nice and straight. We're just gonna hang out for about five seconds or so, so go ahead and switch over to the other side. Good, again, think chest to the knee. Good, breathing into it. Good, and then let the torso hang right down the middle. That nice little stretch on the lower back. You can grab your elbows here and let the weight of your arms pull the torso a little further toward the floor. You can let your neck relax. Just let all that tension in the upper body spill out. Good, place your fingertips on the floor, walk your feet in now to about hip distance and give me that deep squat. Yeah, push your knees out with your elbows, pressing your palms together, lift through the chest, nice and tall through the spine, keeping those hips down. Grab your right ankle with your left hand, pushing that left knee out, reaching the right arm up. Yeah, good. And let's switch sides. Excellent. And elbows back inside the knees, place your hands on the floor, lean forward, push the knees out a little bit further. Ah, and rock back to your heels, straighten both legs as you drop your head. Good. Quick little stretch on the hamstrings and then slight bend to the knees and we curl the spine as we roll up one vertebrae at a time and you know the deal. We get to the top, we do our shoulder rolls up, back, down and forward. We go a few times one way and then back for a few. Good. And then hands on your head, chin to your chest, roll the neck around. So we're going to do three circuits today. Each circuit is going to contain three exercises, reverse direction. And we're going to work 40 seconds for each exercise with no break in between. Face straight ahead, let's get some rotations going. So the only break you're really going to get is that transition from one exercise to the next. Other than that, we're going 40 seconds each exercise, three exercises. And then at the end of that 40 seconds, give me some jumping jacks. At the end of those three exercises, go in 40 seconds each, we're going to take a full 30 second break, okay? Three exercises, 40 seconds each, switching to seal jacks, and a full 30 second break at the end. The first two, we're going to do four rounds of this, 
And the last circuit of the three exercises, depending on our time, let's pump the knees right here. Depending on how much time we have left, we'll do three or four. If we have time for four, we'll go four. If not, we'll just go three. And that's all gonna be determined on how much I'm gonna be talking. So I'll be sure to get on with it. Let's pump those knees, swing those arms nice and fast. Come on, five, four, speed it up, three, two, and time. All right, so let's go over our first three exercises. The first three, we'll need two dumbbells, matching set of dumbbells, somewhere in the medium, medium heavy if you have them. All right, the first exercise is gonna be a seesaw lunge. Let me show you the lower body first. So seesaw lunge, you lunge back and you lunge forward, all on the same leg. So if my right leg is working, my left foot doesn't move. All right, now we're gonna take a dumbbell. If I'm working my right leg, dumbbell's gonna be in the right arm. We're gonna lunge back, dumbbell drops down by the hip, but as we lunge forward, we're gonna snap the dumbbell up to the shoulder. Now this is a clean, it's not a curl. There's a subtle difference here. This is more of a snapping, like a shrug, and sort of a jerk the dumbbell up, as opposed to just working your bicep and curling it. So it's a subtle thing, but we wanna clean it, not curl it. That's exercise one, since it's 40 seconds, we're gonna go 20 seconds on each leg. Exercise two, if you have a matching set of dumbbells, we're gonna do swings, just that simple. That's 40 seconds of swings, that's a long time. So if you wanna do a little, add a little uh, different flavor to it, you could do one arm swing for 20 seconds and then switch sides for 20 seconds or you could do both arms, your call. And then finally, we're gonna do a long arm plank. You guys should know these, I use these a lot. Long arm plank is here, right? I'm reaching out through my hands, got my ears, and my biceps lined up, my tailbone is tucked. We're gonna go 20 seconds there and then you're gonna do a crucifix plank for obvious reasons, your body's in the shape of a crucifix. Make sure that the arms are on the same level as your chest here. Tailbone is tucked and get your, your chest as close to the ground as you can. Those are our first three. 40 seconds on, no break in between. 30 second break at the end. Get your dumbbell ready, cause we go in, as soon as I get my timer set. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Step it back, step it forward, snap that dumbbell up, boom. Step it back, drop the knee down, forward, snap the dumbbell. Good, get that back knee down each time. Right back knee down, and then left back knee down. Keep it going, four, three, two, one. Let's switch sides, same thing, right to it. Boom, and then boom. Good, keep the chest up. Get that snap of the dumbbell. A little shrug there. Yeah, get those quads working. Three, two, one. And we go right into swings. So all the break is, is that transition break. Now we're reaching our butt back and we're snapping the hips forward. Right, so I'm not putting this into my knees. This is into my hips. Keep your back nice and flat. Don't overreach through the hips. Stand up nice and tall. And just let that forward momentum, let that be what's pushing those dumbbells. Whew. Yeah, long time here. You got 10 more seconds. Whew. Yeah, glutes, man. This is one of the best glute exercises you can do while standing three, two, one. Let's go down to our crucifix plank. Right there. Good. Lock your tailbone in. Reach your arms. You're gonna shrug here at the bottom. So think of pressing the shoulders up toward the ears. Tailbone is tucked under. Feel that core working, feel the shoulders working. And transition into crucifix right here. Your arms are in line with your chest. And you might start slipping and if you do, you can just do a little subtle adjustment there. But get those arms out as wide as you can. You're gonna start shaking and that's okay. One time. That is your first 30 second break. Enjoy that. Grab a sip of water if you need. And we're gonna run through that three more times. Nothing to it, it's too easy. We got about 10 more seconds, seesaw lunges. All right, here we go. 
Dumbbells up. Five, four, three, two, one. Right leg is working. Right arm is loaded. Boom. Drop it down. Shrug. Send that back knee down. Flip that dumbbell up. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides right to it. Let's go. Right there. Good. Remember, chest stays up. Keep your breath connected to the movement. This is going to challenge your balance as well. Keep it going. Three, two, one. We go right into the swings. I'm going to go single arm this time. Single arm swings are great because you're loading one side of your body here. And that causes your core to have to fire up to keep your torso upright. So you get a little one-two bonus out of this. Right, breathing. And if you're doing single arm, switch it. And if you are doing single arm, you want your feet about hip distance so you don't crack yourself in the thigh with that dumbbell. That would be uncomfortable. We don't want to do that. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down. Crucifix, or sorry, long arm plank first. Good. Reaching those arms out. Reaching the shoulders up. Middle of the back presses up to the ceiling. Tailbone is tucked. Switch it into our crucifix. This one is tough here. We really get chest, bicep, tricep working here. I'm gonna keep, again, keep the tailbone tucked. Keep your hands in line with your chest. Two, one, and time. Nothing to it. 30 seconds. Whew. All right. That was halfway through this first round. Whew. We got about 15 seconds. Grab a sip of water if you need to. Towel off. Get ready for round three. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Round three, three, two, one. Let's do it. Step it back, step forward, snap that dumbbell up. Good. Again, really work those back knees down. Try to do a light tap on the floor with the back knee. Full range of motion here. Go ahead and switch sides right to it. Step it back first, keep the chest up, snap it forward. Good. Remember, there's a shrug and that little jerking motion. Whoo! And the quads, man, they get worked. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Back to our swings. I'm gonna stay with a single arm. Keep pushing your booty back, snap it forward. The knees bend. But the knees bend to allow the hips to drop back. So it's all flexing and contracting through the glutes. Switch arms if you are doing single arm. And keep breathing here. Good. Ten more seconds. Think of standing tall at the top. Really try to avoid that overarching. Two, one. You know where we're going, back to the floor. Right here. Lock it in. And now, challenge how far you can get those hands out in front of you. Feel your lats working here. Shoulders are working. Let's switch it right to our crucifix. And again, challenge how far out you can get your hands. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right, we got another 30 second break. We got one more round of this first circuit and then we'll move on. Breathe, a little stretch here. Good. 
We have about five more seconds. It goes by so quick. Here we go. Last set. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do a last set right here of these three. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be happy to see these ones go. Drop it down, snap it up. Not interested in speed here. More about full range of motion in those lunges and not curling the dumbbell, switch it. Good. Got a little core work happening too. Keep it going. Three, two, one, we're back to our swings. Let's go. I'm gonna go both this time. Now if you need to take a little break, then go ahead. And when you're ready, I'll be here. Otherwise, keep it up. 20 more seconds. Focusing on the glutes. Back is nice and flat. And you're breathing. 10 more seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, final round here. Last set of this first circuit. Let's get right to it. Really press those shoulders up to your ears. Tuck under the tailbone. Literally squeeze your torso. Pull the belly button in. Good, transition. Now here, lift through the middle of the back. Opening up the shoulder blades. We don't want to collapse here. We want to press them out. Tuck your tailbone. Three, two, one. Done. Ah, excellent. Grab a sip of water and uh, let me go over this next round. All right. So I hope you're ready for some push-ups because we got them on the menu. We're gonna do push-ups with a shoulder tap. I realize 40 seconds is a long time for push-ups for pretty much anybody. So I added a little shoulder tap here. So it's essentially holding a plank, switching from one arm to the other. So you can hold this plank position as long as you need to, or just drop to your knees if that becomes an issue. So regular push-up, chest, torso to the floor, lock it out, tap one shoulder, tap the other shoulder, okay? Simple as that. If you need to, obviously, you can drop to your toes here. Bang, bang. If you're sort of in between the regular push-ups and the knee push-ups, go down normally. Huh? Set your knees down, press up from the knees. That's a good way to advance to the next level if you're sort of in between. All right, so that's our first exercise, push-up with a shoulder tap. Our second exercise is my personal favorite exercise of all time because it's curls and overhead presses and back down. So it's biceps and triceps. It's real simple, you guys know that one because I do it a lot. 20 seconds on each side. Then more abdominals, you're welcome. Flip it over, we're gonna do atomic sit-ups. All right, so we're from this hollow position. You're gonna pull your knees towards your chest, tap your heels and reach back out. Tap and reach. If your lower back bothers you here, just put your hands behind you to support your lower back and do this version instead. But if you're good to go, tap. We're gonna do that for 20 seconds. And then you're gonna be here with flutter kicks for the remaining 20. And yes, if your neck starts to bother you, just rest your head on the floor for those. But if the shoulders are off the ground, you get even more contraction through the torso. Those are our next three. So let's get to it. Push-ups, everybody. Push-ups. Woo, push-ups. Here we go. <laughs> In five. Don't you love people to laugh at their own jokes? Three, two, one, let's go. Push up. Boom, little tap, little tap. Back down, up, tap. Now there's something that happens a lot with push-ups and that is the tendency to shrug when you're doing your push-ups. So sink those shoulders down. Feel your lats are working here. And when you're doing those shoulder taps, don't let your hip rock back and forth too much. It's going to move, but just make it move as little as possible. Woo, 15 seconds. Oh man, oh man. Come on, push it. 
tap, tap, let's go. Push it, tap, tap. Three, two, one. Look, you're already down here. Real simple transition. Right knee down, right arm loaded, curl and press and come down slowly. Curl, punch overhead, slow on the way down. When you punch overhead, remember, bicep to the ear always. Curl, press, nice and slow. Switch sides, switch sides, not too bad. Punch it and slow. Keep the tailbone tucked under here. Core is still engaged. 10 more seconds. Nice and easy on that way down. Breathing into it. Three, two, one. And flip on over from a hollow position. We're gonna tap our heels, reach it out. Tap and reach. This one's no joke. 20 seconds here, you're gonna feel it. So again, that modification, put your hands behind you. This just makes life a little easier if your core torso just starts going, what are you doing? And then flutter kicks everybody, right to it, right here. Remember, shoulders are up, more core engagement. But if your neck bothers you, you can just relax it on the ground, that's fine. But nice quick on those flutter kicks, reach through your toes. Three, two, one, time. That is your first 30 second break of this second round. So obviously we did lower body, now we're doing upper body, and then the last one's gonna be all the body. Whew. Nice work out there, good work. We got about 10 more seconds. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, I'm looking at the clock here on the wall. In the Sony gym, look at this. Can you believe it? Okay, everybody, let's get to it. Here we go. Push up, shoulder taps in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Chest down. Lock out the elbows. Tap one shoulder. Tap the other. And again, you can hang out here. Take your time with these shoulder taps, especially if you struggle with those push ups. And again, we want to mitigate that rocking of the hip. Really lock it in. Keep it square to the ground. You got 15 more seconds. That's good for what? At least three more push ups, right? At least three. 10 more seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. And we're right there. We're kneeling, we're curling, we're pressing. Nice and slow. When you're slowing it down, basically what you're doing is you're elongating the muscle under tension. That is called an eccentric contraction. It's great for building strength into muscle. Switch sides, right to it. Good. Nice and slow on the way down. Good, give me five more seconds. Three, two, one. And we switch right into those atomic sit-ups. Let's go to it. No rest here. No. Nice and quick on those transitions. Get that full extension through the knees, through the ankles. When you're reaching out, don't skimp on it. And transition, flutter kicks. You wanna add a little extra to this? You could do little circles here. You can lift them up and lift them down. A little more intensity there. But hey, why not? Five, four, three, two, one, time. Excellent. That is another 30 second break. Spoiled for breaks here. <laughs> All right. Not too bad today, right? Not too bad. All right, we got about 15 seconds. Breathe, stretch out a little bit if you need to, grab a quick sip. And get ready, because we go in five, four, let's get some push-ups going. Three, two, one. Come on, down, up, tap, tap. That's a good tempo. One, two, tap, tap. And we're breathing the whole time. Now, push-up, yeah, it's an upper body movement, 
but it's also a core movement. It is essentially a moving plank. So all your core cues are present here. You're tucking the tailbone, not collapsing through the shoulder blades. Come on, three, two, one. All right, we're back to our kneeling curl to press. Nice and quick on that transition. Don't want to waste any time. And again, we're pumping that dumbbell up and pressing the bicep toward the ear. Good, switch. Breathing the whole time. Again, your core is engaged. And we're slow on the way down. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, go. And we're back to our atomic sit-ups. Right here, pop up, tap those heels, reach it out. Keep your breath moving here. And, good. Get those heels, tap those heels. Good, flutter kicks. Again, you could do these little circular ones here. You could go straight up and down, do a combo of both. Just keep those feet moving. Give me five more seconds. And time. All right, that was three down. We got one more round. 30 second break, one more round. It's, it's hard to work your phone when your fingers are sweaty. All right, 15 seconds. One last. We got this. Now we're going to get into some total body movements and some plyometrics. That'll be fun. All right, let's get to it. Last round. Push-ups in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. And remember, we don't want to shrug here. It's really easy to get those shoulders to lift up. Drop them in. Don't let that hip rock too much. Take your time with this. It's the last set. So if you need to, go ahead. You can drop down to the knees if you need to here. Really easy to do. But if you are doing the knees, don't stick your butt up when you lower down. Make sure the belly button and chest are moving together. Good, you got less than 10 seconds. Keep it going. Three, two, two one. one. Go. Let's go, right here. And we punch it. And we go slow. That's right. Three, two, one. Let's switch sides. 20 more seconds. Good. Getting that full extension through the elbow. Keeping the core engaged here. Work. We got five, four, three, two, one. This is it. Last set here. Let's finish it up. Finish it strong. Tap those heels. Reach the legs out. Remember your modification here? Just put your hands behind you. Keep it going. Good, good. Let's transition into our flutters. There we go. Yeah, you can mix it up. Ten more seconds. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right. Well, the good news is, is that we have plenty of time. So we get to do four rounds of this last circuit. And the other good news is this is the last circuit. So once we're done here, we are done. We'll do a little cool down stretch before we finally finish up. Okay. So next up, we have a renegade row. A lot of planking movements today. But I'll show you a modification here if this renegade row maybe is a little bit too much. Sometimes the handles of the dumbbell can be tough on the wrists. But what we're doing here now from a wide stance, 
I've got my dumbbells used as handles here, and I'm just pulling the dumbbells to either side of my hip. Pull back toward the pocket. Don't pull them up to the elbow, pull them back. Okay, obviously here, you can also drop down to your knees if you need to. However, if those don't work well, wrist issues, just stand and do regular two-point row, okay? And if you're doing those, it'll be 20 seconds on each side. Then, we go side lunge and clean. So now, one dumbbell in the right hand, I'm gonna step out on my left leg, I'm gonna push my butt back, drop that dumbbell to the instep, push off, and then flip that dumbbell back to the shoulder, okay? If you wanna give yourself a little bit more of an advanced movement, snap the dumbbell overhead. I'll leave that up to you. And then lastly, plyo. We're gonna do good old fashioned skater hops. Use your mat if you have one. Hop from one side over to the other side for 20 seconds. And then you're gonna hop out, tap the floor with your fingertips, dropping the hip down, not by sticking your butt out. All right, we drop the hip down and hop in. Boom, all right. And that'll be 20 seconds for each, skater hops and touchdown squats. And that is going to take us home. So let's get to it. Renegade row or two point row, your call. Let's get started in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, come on. And you're just switching from one arm to the other. And yeah, you're working your core here. Upper body. Glutes are activating with the tailbone tucked. And you're taking your time here. This is no hurry. This isn't about how many reps you can do. It's about keeping good form by pulling that dumbbell back to your hip. Like you're gonna put it in your pocket. Less than 10 seconds, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's step up, load the right arm. Step out on the right, uh, left foot that is. Push off and flip it up to your shoulder. And repeat. If we want, we could give ourselves a little bit more intensity and we could snatch that sucker, boom, overhead. Like so. I'm gonna leave that up to you. <laughs> you see which version I'm doing, switch sides. Just feel like you're pushing the floor away. And that tail leg, that opposite leg, the one that isn't flexing, it stays straight. Three, two, one. Skater hops. Hop from one side to the other. Let your arms flow with the body. Helps to keep that momentum moving. And try to get to one end of the mat and get all the way to the other end of the mat. Don't skip out on covering distance. And we switch to touchdown squats. Drop the hips, chest is up. If I had a logo on my shirt, you should be able to see that logo. I'm not doing this. Chest is up. Get those quads, get those glutes doing the work. And time. All right, you got a 30 second break. Woo! I got my heart rate up, that's for sure. Just a little pool of sweat over here. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> 10 seconds. We are back to our renegade row. In five, four, three. Suddenly 30 seconds doesn't seem so long anymore. Here we go. Not that it really ever did. Come on. Again, you can low tempo this. Take your time with it. Just make sure you're pulling back. We wanna activate your lats. Biceps working. Basically that pulling arm, you wanna make an L shape with that arm. 10 seconds, come on. Yeah, I know, these are tough. Five, four, three, three two, Two, one, let's pop up. Right arm, left leg, right here. Left leg is working, right leg is perfectly straight. 
We sing down into the hip and push off through the ball of the foot. That's right. Three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Right to it. Good, good. You got less than 10 seconds. And then we transition into our skater hops and touchdown squats. Three, two, one. Let's go. And we're covering distance. Explode off that leg you are balanced on. You could do a little tap of that book back foot if you need to, but only if you need to. If you can get away with it, then let it just hover. And transition to our touchdown squats. Dropping the hips. Hop the feet out wide. Angle out the toes. Make sure the knees are bending out toward the second toe of each foot. Three, two, one. Time. Ooh. All right. Two down. Two to go. Oh, man. We got this. Nothing to it. 15 seconds. All right, here we go. Round three, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Hear that breath working? Hopefully yours is too. And again, like I said earlier, if you need to take a little break, just do it. Go ahead and then just come back when you're ready. Fifteen seconds. Come on. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Side lunge. Right to it. With that clean. Good. Push the floor away as you pop up out of that lunge and flip the dumbbell to your shoulder. Flip. And we're breathing the whole time. Switch sides, switch sides. There we go. We got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Skater hops right to it. We cover the distance of the mat as best as you can. Really getting those glutes working here. Quads are working here. Switch it, touchdown squats. Don't forget to breathe. We're letting the legs carry the load on this one. Drop those hips. Five, four, Three, two, one. And yes, we have arrived. We got one final round. These three will do a quick cool down and I'll let you get out of here. We got 10 seconds. All right, everybody. Renegade row. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Yes, remember the modification is right here. I'll just stay here since I started here. And this is 20 seconds on each side. Three, two, one, switch sides. If you are doing this version. We still don't want to shrug here. We still want to pull back to the hip with a dumbbell. Come on. Three, two, one. And we got our uh, side lunge, side lunge, cleans. Push your butt back, press the hip forward. As you push the floor away. 
That's the way. Don't forget to breathe. Good, switch sides. Flip it up, that's right. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. Let's finish this up. Give me those skater hops. Let's go. We're still covering distance. Even though we're at the end of the workout, don't skimp out. Finish it strong. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Drop them down and push it back up. And your hips are still sinking straight down. That's the way. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and lie belly down on your mat. Press the chest up. Look up at the ceiling. Well done today. That went by quick or it felt like it did. Good, let's do a side version of this. Just post up to one arm. Your hip is just off the mat. You're sort of resting on the outside of this bottom thigh. And you should be feeling that stretch through your obliques, sort of lower torso area. Good, switch it. We did a lot of work on our hips today, so let's go ahead and show them some love. Let's go wide with your knees here and let's rock back and forth. A little frog rocker here. And the more you sit back into this stretch, the deeper the stretch. Good. And then from here, extend your left leg out to the side. And now you're gonna work this inner thigh of that extended leg along with the hip. Good. Yeah. Nothing to it. Switch legs. Good. And let's return back to our hands and knees. And then from here, keep your knee or your hip over your knee and walk your hands out and then press your armpits to the floor. Good. But the hip is still aiming up. Excellent. Good. And let's transition into one more cobra. Good. And then from here, tuck your toes under and push your tailbone up, pushing your chest down and back toward your feet. Good. And when you are ready, walk your hands back and roll it up. All right, that is my time. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you being here. Great job today. Thank you, everybody.